So, um, <clears throat> we both thinking it, right? My God. I'm a God. Oh, I'm a God. Like, Y'all see the reads, boys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we are back in Dragon Ball Fighters because very recently they announced a huge change was coming, aka a balance patch, mostly, at least by their tweet, to nerf 21. Yeah, 21 was getting banned. A lot of tournaments, the character was causing havoc. And now I brought Lotus here because we're going to talk about that. You and know the vibes. We're going to go back and forth. Now, Lotus, you actually, we talked about this on your channel in another video. Uh, yeah, but you yeah, played yeah. 21 quite a bit. I played her as well. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not like you need to play her that much to see why she's so good. <laughs> right, right. But you, you, got you, more you figure out pretty quickly what's, what's <laughs> yeah. strong with her. <laughs> you got way more experience. So what, what are your just in general thoughts on 21 as so, she is right now? So I actually think the character is really cool and a lot of fun. But I completely <laughs> understand that she needs to be toned down because... For one, she's causing way too much controversy and like infighting within the community. And if it makes people a lot happier and enjoy the game to nerf her, I'm here for that, even though I do like her a lot. That mm. being said, I do think the debuff that she applies to characters not only slows the game down, but slows down events overall, like in tournaments, which is like a kind of a big deal because this is already a game that takes a long time anyway. And then just in general, it's just a really strong move that I think could be stand to to be removed altogether. Some people have talked about whether it, you know you can make it stack or you just nerf how much it does or whatever, but Truth be told, the, the move is just so strong that <laughs> like, you just take away the debuff property yeah, altogether, yeah. it's it's still pretty <laughs> godlike. This was another thing we talked about on your video, but it's just like as somebody that doesn't play 21 too much, like I I still think she would be crazy snapped if the grab super was just that like it was just a grab mm -hmm. and it didn't have any effect on damage or anything like that. It's yeah, like, like you said, it makes the games go so much longer. And another thing is uh, I brought this up just a little bit, but um, it's a weird thing in fighting games to just want to say like, oh, this is a GG go next kind of situation. But if your team is debuffed by 21 or you're already down pretty bad, it's like, you know, I got to start planning what, what I'm going to do in game two. You know, I'm not trying to lose a best of three right here. Right. Um, I will say, uh, the one thing I don't like about it though is that even, even though I'm, I'm here for her getting there, I, I, I do not support the idea of her getting banned, but that's also part of the reason yes. why I'm like kind of glad she's getting nerfed because... I would rather see her get nerfed than banned, you know? I think, um, I just, in general, I usually don't support the idea of, like, banning characters from events. Mm. Um, it's not to say, like, I, it, it angers me, because I've seen people feel very strongly about it. I'm like, oh, this is, this is so <laughs> stupid, this is so corny, whatever, whatever. I'm like, well, nah, like, I don't agree with it, but it doesn't make me upset. Um, yeah, I, man, you, well, you actually kind of, I didn't realize we aligned our views so closely on banning characters. <laughs> it's like the same thing for me is like, just in principle, I really don't like banning characters. Yeah, and it's something I talked about like in my videos where like, I also don't like the precedent that it, nice nah, guard canceled, the precedent that it sets where it's just like, oh, we think this character's too strong, so we should just opt to ban her. Ooh, the um, huh? Oh, shit. That was just the weight, that was sick. Word. <laughs> Word. <laughs> I vanished too early. Um, <laughs> Where it's just like, if people feel too strongly about a character, they can get them banned when it really might not even be necessary. Um, and I, I kind of didn't like the, the, I don't want to say it in a way to make it say, wow, you wanted a counter. <laughs> I, why you, you <laughs> me so <laughs> uh, I didn't like uh, the way a lot of the top players vocalize their opinions of the character because I'm not, I'm not even saying that they're wrong or that they shouldn't or that they can't, but it's, um, I feel like it had like a very poisonous, uh, effect on like the casual player base where even they feel like it is an absolute necessity for them to play the character in order to like win even in online games and I, I really feel like when people are saying stuff like that they're talking about the highest level it's like oh 21's a must play character because I mean I've played my fair share of the character and still lost and I've fought plenty of her online and beat yeah. her without using her right a lot of people no I don't think I've always thought this about Dragon Ball Fighters but there's never been a uh... listen there's there's some fighting games where if you're playing a certain character uh, it's just like why you know like if you're if you're having fun that's great but like you're not gonna be winning a ton of games like in MVC two there's definitely like some teams you can run that's just like okay like nice ah. team you got there but I don't think you're gonna win many games uh, <laughs> no, but Dragon Ball really. Fighters you could m pretty much get a team of three anybody and if your deep like, your defense is good enough in Dragon Ball Fighters you're fine like you're gonna mm. be okay especially just online. Right, and that's another thing is that I feel like there is a very big difference from like those of us playing like ranked and casual games online and the highest level uh, competitively. Mm. And another big thing is that at the competitive level, and this always sounds sort of insulting, but it's not at all. But another thing that's very high value at a competitive level is like um, being very good, having a lot of options, all the normal stuff you would assume. Mm -hmm. And then also 21 is just very 
she is a, a quality that I think is just so good for that level. It's just very simplistic. You know, it's not... You don't so have to do anything I, too crazy. I to agree, go, to go right? Off. But I think to a, to an extent, this also applies to having to have a certain level of skill or, uh, so I'm looking for uh, proficiency in the game because, like, I, I, I not to put him on blast specifically, but like I remember when 21 came out, Nitro was like, "Oh, she's the easiest character in the game." And like, yeah, for a player like you, but I saw a lot of like you know less skilled players, you know, people who watch us pick 21 up and really struggle with her uh because she's a bit weird she's got the double hitting normals um and they could they still couldn't do the rejump and like i do think she is an easy character for a proficient player but again it's like sometimes when you see a top player say something it, like it applies to top players not necessarily everybody yeah. who plays the game. but don't don't get me wrong i'm not trying to like downplay her today. she she is an easy character to anyone who knows what they're doing in this game yeah, that's like a, that's just another really strong aspect of like what makes her so good at like that top level. Just because you get good results, you get all these good options. Also, you know you're not relying on on very hard strings or, or very difficult choices to get to the, that level. Also, please don't hit me. All right, never mind. Oh no, not like this. Oh, you got these. Oh, well, I, we're gonna I have those. to take a <laughs> we're gonna have to take a whole break from the point of this video just to watch that. <laughs> I'm so mad I dropped that. <laughs> and I lose hit. Uh, well, I didn't lose hit because I dropped the combo. I lost hit because I reflected. But still, Krillin should be Krillin and Yamcha should be should be on he their last legs gone. right now. <laughs> but yes, twenty one is the main focus, and she definitely in this in the balance patch. All, all we can say for sure is that she probably will be receiving a nerf. We don't know what or we don't know how, but they will be adjusting her. Right, and like um, we mentioned in, in my video, is that like even without the debuff super, like they could remove that super from her altogether, and she'd still be top tier. No, yeah, and that's <laughs> that's a, that's the thing is honestly they could remove a, a decent bit from her and she would still be pretty good. Like, he, like even if she fell out of top ten, she would. I don't know. She just has a lot of fundamental things that make you very good at Dragon Ball Fighters, in my opinion. Uh, but um, yeah, other than twenty one, again, it's it's one of those things like me and Lotus both agreed on his videos. Like, you know, we have a lot of hopes and like what could be changed. Like, we have a lot of exciting stuff that we would love to see, mm -hmm. but. My expectations are that high just because of the way they announced it through a tweet, um, which is probably the best way they can go about getting the information out there. But with such a heavy focus on 21, it wouldn't surprise me if 21 was the only one that got changes. Oh, and that's think. like my biggest fear with this that's patch. The, that's because, the bad ending. That's the bad yeah, ending. Yeah, <laughs> uh, of, of all the things I want to see, I'm obviously not getting my hopes up too high because there's probably a lot that I'm not going to get to see, right? We all have a character we want to see get buffed. We all have a character we want to see get nerfed. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And there's a very real possibility that the only character that gets touched at all is Android 21. Now, I think mm -hmm. a lot of us would be very disappointed with that, and I think they know that. So I'd like to think and hope that they're going to do more than that, but I don't want to... I don't want to, you know, get people's hopes up too high. Yeah, no, I, that's that's my thing. Is like I, I, I always want to stress. I don't know why this happens. Obviously, I have no connection with Dragon Ball Fighters at all. But when I say something, I, I always get at least a few comments like, "But you confirmed, like, bro." Like, I'm like, nah. Yeah, people I, always I, think YouTubers have some sort of inside information. Yeah, like, but, uh, nah. he he doesn't like, nah, bro. I, yeah. I really wish I knew something, but I, I don't. I definitely don't got it like that. Please don't. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Saw your life flash before your eyes. <laughs> oh my god! Bro, I'm at. Oh, you saw that coming. Oh. Give me I'm that. Dead. Yeah, I deserve that. I deserve that. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, never mind. I kind of forgot you could jump again. Um, <laughs> but yeah, speaking of the guy that just got destroyed, not me, Yamcha. Uh, it, that's my number one pick, bro. And honestly, on Twitter, it seems like people are rallying behind Yamcha, which is fine by me, bro. I, I, I'm, I'm there with you guys, too, because even though I'm not like the biggest Yamcha supporter or I'm not a Yamcha player, he's the worst character in the game right now. And, you know, <laughs> he, he could use some help. Um, but while we're at it, like, I know he just won the match and all, but uh, that guy right there with the sword on his back, I think he can stand <laughs> and get a couple of buffs, too. I think he's actually the bottom tier at this point in the game. He just not he's just I, not competing with the rest of the characters at the moment. And uh, crazy thing about Trunks is I don't think I would even mind a top tier Trunks. Like I, don't, uh, I think a lot of people would be fine with that because a lot of people think Trunks is really cool, but he he sucks right now, man. <laughs> and the crazy part is he's one of those he's he's in like the worst spot too because he's one of those characters with like super high effort and very little reward. <laughs> but he's cool, so I you know I'll, I'll always play him. Yeah, and obviously for the bit I do have to mention you know Jiren's counter oh the, the the famous try something. Uh, it's like all jokes aside, Jiren is is a really strong character in my opinion. Still, like it, it's crazy because beforehand I was trying to tell people like it's not even just jokes, guys. Like Jiren, Jiren's really good. Um, but like I still think he's really good. Like he still has all the the crazy stuff. 
Um, and I think more people play him now. But still very, very good. But I would like to see the counter come back, obviously, just because it was such a fun move. Uh, but I don't think it will. I don't think so either. But I do think Jiren's <laughs> in a pretty good spot right now. There's a lot of characters who I think um, are solid but are underplayed, I guess, just because they're not the most popular. But Jiren is actually a character, at least online, maybe not competitively, but online. I feel like I see him a lot, especially because uh, I, I do like this whole copycat challenge thing on the channel where like I'll hop in a casual match with the team I like and I'll take whoever I fight their team into ranked and then I copy the, the ranked opponent's team as well and I feel like Jiren is like one of the most played characters that I've had to use in this challenge so far oh god hits hmm. dead again already <laughs> yeah we are we are getting this guy out of here oh, his, well, his health is keeps melting before I realize it man <laughs> Yeah, I think, uh, so obviously, when, when they announced the balance patch on Twitter, I made a fair share of jokes. Um, and I do hope, uh, we said this on your video again, but I do hope they continue fighter stuff after this. But it wouldn't surprise me at all if this is the final balance patch. I don't know what it would take to get them to make another season or just keep making content in general, like a, a rare character drop here or there. Right. Because um, I think we're past seasons at this point. Mm -hmm. But... You know, just in case an Arx of Spies out there listening, I don't think you understand. Like, it ain't even jokes, bro. I will personally put up a decent bit of money to get any character added, but sp specifically nah, Raditz. Like, no, I'm here for Raditz. He's, he's, he's not my top pick, but I think he'd actually be a really cool character in this game. I, I know. He just... Listen, also, I, a lot I of people sleep on aesthetics. I think Raditz's design is nice. I think the OG Saiyan armor is nice. I like the OG and, Saiyan armor a lot. And we need the OG Saiyan trio, bro. Three, three party members, but we can't use a Saiyan trio. I don't know, oh. I was kind of disrespect. I can't believe I, I dropped that. <laughs> I thought you were a god for a second. <gasps> I thought I was too. That's why I stuttered, bro, and I lost confidence. <laughs> but um, yeah, Raz is a character I wouldn't mind seeing. I've got a fair share of characters I'd like to see. Like uh, the Super Saiyan 4s or Super Saiyan Gods would be up there for me. Future Gohan is probably my number one alongside Tapion. Those are two Future, characters I, I was going to say. I, thought, I, I remember you saying something about Tapion. But Future Gohan will also just be really cool. Um, I'm just gonna do it by the way. Oh, you're godlike. I, I, I thought I you just, might I click just a had button. A feeling. Just had yeah, a feeling. I just, I just, I realized it had been a little while since I did a raw level three. I, I some, something, bar. something about fighting Dado Doi just clicked in my head for a second, and I was like, you know what? If yeah, I'm wearing betting, I, man. I, I, I thought it was my time. Oh, oh shit. my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's, man, it is crazy. I, I hope they do add a lot of buffs because again, the, the bad ending here is they just adjust twenty twenty one. So, um, <clears throat> we both thinking it, right? My god? I'm a god. Oh, I'm a I god. Say, bro. I was like, we, we both gotta be thinking about this. I'm a god. Oh, Y'all see the reads, boys. Do oh, <laughs> Y'all see the reads? <laughs> oh, no. I ain't blocking this either. Oh, oh god. my god. Spot check? I forgot he could do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, god. That first hit did a decent chunk. Oh, no. Live check? We'll do it again. I mean, I will. Oh, Ooh. God. I tried to fuzz the jump. <laughs> <laughs> the clutch, oh, I mean, the clutch. I would have done it again. <laughs> that was bad. Um, I, I, mean, I pretty much said all I wanted to say about balance. I'm just trying to play fighters at this point. No, I'm I bad. Feel it. I feel <laughs> it. Run, run the set. Run the set. Also, my head has bad. not been allowed to play. I like this character a lot. I just, I'm just, I've just never been great with him. Bro, he's this so, man so cool, was double bro. Sunday two of my characters, bro. But I dropped it. I'm trash. <laughs> That's still, bro. I, my life flashed before my eyes. I, I saw what happened in that alternate reality, bro. I mean, oh. Oh my god. I still can't believe I never played Hit. Hit I, <laughs> I don't even think many people know this, but Hit was supposed to be my main character coming into this game. <laughs> I don't think I, I knew like, that either. I, I, I like Dragon Ball Super, and then um, my specific reason was because this sounds really weird looking back, but obviously with Dragon Ball Fighters, and you know, I think everybody says this about oh most fighting games, but when Dragon Ball Fighters was announced, I was like, this is my game, bro. I'm going to nah, be the best I, yeah, at I Dragon Ball Fighters. I thought the same shit. But part of it being my game, bro, is that, I, you know, when rank came out, I was going to have a lot of rank points, bro. People were going to know about me. So I was like, hit seems like well, a you character. you wrong that, about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in, in some weird way, Dragon Ball Fighters did become a big part of my life. So it ended up actually working out. It did become my game. Uh, but my, my reasoning for not playing hit off the bat was just like, hit seems like a character you'd have to, you know, put some time in the lab. And if I'm just going to hop in a rank and mm -hmm. try to learn by playing, then I'm not even going to mess with that. 
So I nah. literally only did not pick up hit because I was like, nah, I gotta play uh, Blue Something Goku simpler. and Tien yeah. instead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hit was a character I always thought was really cool, and from the original like run of the Dragon Ball Super anime, he was my favorite character that came out of Super. So I was no, yeah, pretty, exactly. I was pretty stoked about him being in the game, but like. He's one of those characters where at the start of DBSD, I was like, yeah, he's a little weird. I don't really know what to do with him. So, <laughs> exactly, bro. That's why I was, I'll come back later. I never, and I never it, came back. I did come back, and I'm glad that I did because I love this character, but it's never, it is a, never got as solid as I wanted to be. If we're talking about old school Dragon Ball fighters, that was a big day in the community. Uh, you know, people post on Twitter like huge day for annoying people when, when like news about something they don't like drops. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a, that was like a huge day for anti annoying people because Dragon Ball Fighters was coming out and because it had Z at the end of its name, I would be talking to people like on the, uh, just anywhere on the internet the game talked about. Again, I was really annoying. I talked about fighters all the time. Uh, and people were like, nah, bro, it's going to be a Dragon Ball Z exclusive game because it's fighters with a Z. And I was like, I don't think that matters as much as you think it does. So when they announced Goku, Black, Beerus, and Hit all together, I was like, thank God these arguments are done. <laughs> I was like, I have seen enough of these comments. <laughs> to be fair, I might have added a bit to that because I definitely, one of my first videos that blew up was a video of me talking about the Dragon Ball Fighters roster and what the potential characters could be and this is like when the game first got announced and i one of my theories was that it could not not saying that that was most likely be the case but i, I theorized that it, it might be a possibility that it was a dragon ball z only game and there won't be super mm. stuff in it um and even in that video like, though i was like well they could still technically yeah. add like beerus and some of these other characters because technically they are dragon ball z characters yeah. because of like uh, uh, the movies battle of gods and resurrection Earth. yeah but i think even in that video i still was like I still put super characters in there anyway, because I was like, yeah, I want to see Hit and Goku Black or some shit like that. Yeah, and I, I was just, I was so happy they added those because one, like, that gives a game a lot more new stuff they can go with. Mm -hmm. But I, I ain't gonna lie, I was also completely wrong about the roster, like, obviously Raditz. Um, well, I think I, can't, I actually I made a lot of good predictions when I made that video. I, you know what, I even called uh, 17 and 18 being like a, a, a what 18 ended up being. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I theorized, like, yeah, they could play together and just be like one character. And I was like, oh, shit, I, I called that one. <laughs> oh, my God. That is yeah, unfortunate. this guy needs some buffs, bro. Like, that's <laughs> that crazy. Is, uh, well, they did buff that. Remember, they gave it more range before. <laughs> yeah, that's the funniest part. They, it's, it is buffed. <laughs> Damn, bro. I just, I miss Yalta. I don't, but I, I feel <laughs> for you. <ball. laughs> it is crazy, bro. I miss uh, peak Yamcha. Peak Yamcha was wild. Uh, at anyway, least you, at least you, at least you had a peak. I can't say I miss peak Trunks. <laughs> Trunks was never peak. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say I think Trunks might be the best he's ever been right now. And he's still bottom <laughs> tier. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think Trunks ever. Uh, I don't think Trunks ever was flying too high. Was there a man Trunks? Yeah, I I, I really want a, a top tier Trunks just because pro play Trunks is already pretty fun to watch. <laughs> like, honestly, what pro play? Well, that's the thing is it's not it's not a thing anymore, but it used to be. Like there was there was that one guy I can't remember his name right now. Uh, Moke from season one. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I think that's exactly who I'm talking about. The Japanese player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I always thought that it was fun to watch that guy play. Yeah, he was but, my favorite player to watch back then, for obvious but, reasons. Unfortunately, that is just uh, those days are long behind Trunks. Goodbye, Hit. I really wanted to he play this character in this video, and I just don't think I did. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Oh, no, no. Here you go. I'll give you a chance, bro. Thanks. Oh, no. I, I really didn't want to, though. I ain't gonna lie. Damn. Oh, my. I just got clapped. All right. Uh, you got these. You got these. You got these. I know you got Trunks assist, but maybe you don't want to. All right. Get back. Ooh, that's not good. Ah! Pain. Oops. Also, I want you to know you were single-handedly responsible for Jiren being as popular as he is. <laughs> I don't, bro. I think Jiren is just like sleeper pop. And the thing is, I don't know. I, don't, I have no clue what it is with Jiren. And like, people can bring it up, but like, people think I'm a huge Jiren fan. But actually, like, like I know Jiren had his fair share of haters from just the show. I wasn't a hater. I was kind of like, you know, he's all right. Oh, like he's just like, like a yeah he, he's a generic bad guy to me um or generic antagonist i guess um i only really like jiren because of fighters like i thought like i think counters are the coolest fighting game mechanic and he had those um and then like obviously it just like 
I didn't even really play him that much until like they broke his counter and it countered drag. Like as soon as I saw it counter drag, <laughs> yeah, with the you like, ah. were just like, all right, this is I gotta play this. <laughs> I was like, all right, so he's just the coolest character in the game. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Jiren for some reason really popular online. It's you, and that's bro. Just something I've I'm trying to tell in, you. <laughs> you. You made the character entertaining for people, so now they think he's cool to play. I think he's cool to play. Like to be honest, like he's still pretty sad. Like this eye move, bro. Like this eye beam. The range is good. Oh, I'm. I'm getting cooked again. Ah, I didn't build the bar. Watch it. Word, it recovers that fast? How is that, <laughs> How's that move that active but also yeah, recovers the, that the fast? Thing, what do you the mean? Thing, the thing is, bro, like, I'm, I try to tell people, bro, when that counter was at its peak, like, it was not a joke, bro. That counter was ridiculous. Oh, I had my and fair share of, of, of videos on the channel of some lost files of, of me and Dion getting smoked by it. I, I recall. It was just that counter, bro, for a long time. And it's, it still is really good, but damn. It's one of those things, too, where people are always like, uh, just uh, <laughs> all right. Hold on. Last, last topic I want to talk about is I think people put way too much, um, people put way too much stock in just fighting games in general, but also fighters, uh, in what is and isn't technically reactable. I, I said that was the last one. We got to do one more, bro. That, <laughs> all right, for sure. <laughs> no, go. I, I I agree with you though. Go on. But like, um, just like reactable and stuff like this, and this is not just with Twenty One because this talk, this was a, a thing on Twitter that people I, got I saw that talking too. about. Yeah, I, and that's uh, another thing too. I don't know why people can never have like a civil discussion about. Yeah, like, people it's get real be... mean on Twitter, bro. And it's not but even whatever. about that. But it is that thing like um like this is technically reactable, and this is like this like. With Yamcha, like his crossover Wolfang Fist, people were like, it's like, it's not even real, like it's whatever. I remember um, when people was like, oh yeah, that shit will never work online. Yeah, it, and Kazunoko never, was it, like, hold it, my beer. It, it, it'll never work. Yeah, and then that, he single-handedly like, I really, Kazunoko is probably my favorite player ever to watch just because like, if you watch him play, it's like, it's like nothing that you can't do yourself. I don't, well, I mean, obviously when, when it's time to clutch up, he's like, oh yes, I, I do play this game professionally. <laughs> but like, for the most part, his strategy was just like, let me force people to block, like hold this. And then let me just see what I get. Like that. And then he would use Gohan if they were jumping. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I thought that whiffed for sure. <laughs> but no, you're right. Like Kazunoko, he had a very simplistic strategy, but he utilized it extremely effectively. Yeah, no, and it was just really effective really basic traditional stuff and I, I was like damn that's so sick to me um wow i'm getting cooked why didn't my vanish i i pushed vanish and got a jump medium <laughs> and i'm very sad about it and then why didn't the first hit i got in the first place combo you know what wow sick. that was just unfortunate to look at you know what i deserve this uh, but yeah i think technically reactable and just uh like what people actually end up reacting to uh are, are very different i think another thing people don't take into account sometimes and this is like a small detail but it matters a lot is like the native input delay of some of these games uh yeah that too i mean just just like whatever whatever people can and can't like bardock's uh what is it i don't know the specific name of the move but the one that he winds back his fist and punches yeah not his, the uh, fastest move you but the amount punch. of people you see just stand there and block that, which is not ad advantageous at all, because you're you know you just gotta hold that again. Right. Um, but it's just like a, a fear thing. Like there's a lot of stuff that's going on in that player's mind when they're sitting there. Um, so like, you know, just like stuff like that reaction based stuff mm -hmm. is uh is wild to watch. Which I brought up because Yamcha specifically <laughs> is the one I always remember. Nah, ain't no way that'll ever work, bro. Offline or online, it's too, it's too slow. <laughs> I think I think it's good. Ow. Wow. Alright, bro. Trunks, I'm, I'm gonna get you, you one of these days. I'm gonna get you one of I, these bro, days. I called Trunks' just to smoke it. He just <laughs> he's afraid. What are you afraid? He's a short little ball man. <laughs> bro, I can't even they don't even see me in Jiren's intro, bro. We find out Trunks is afraid of Jam Cross. <laughs> I go on. Actually, I don't even I don't have right. no I have no clue how tall Jam Cross is. He might be my height for all I know. We're tall. Bro. I actually yeah, I have no idea how tall he is either. But I do know that that man posted the funniest uh, Skullgirls clip I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> that was a funny clip. I had to throw up that, that clip real quick. What? <laughs> <laughs> this man got the Evangelion theme played on him. On his own tournament. Oh, I'm, yeah, Crone's dead. Well, well, that's it. That's it for me. I still have a, a whole Yamcha to get through back there with Spark. I still got a whole Jiren that I'm just about to do stuff with. Cheer. 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 
Yeah, I that's Jira. I hate it here. I, I, I didn't know what to do. No, my Wait. vanish didn't come out. Why are you like this? <laughs> <laughs> I just, the whole time's like, you know, I was just trying to mash it out. Damn, bye, Jira. I'm like actually 90% sure I lose these now. That's the crazy thing. Is my confidence There's no even way. out? There's no way. You know, have full health and spark, bro. bro a key blast, a vanish, I die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. It's just I've been here before. Oh. Nice. There we go. Okay. I, I was like, I, I was playing that real slow. Like, <laughs> but that is probably where we're going to wrap it up. Whew. Yeah, that's, that's fighters for you, dude. I got lost in the game. Man, love this game so much. Any uh, any closing thoughts? Nah, I just hope that people don't get their hopes up too high for the patch and that the patch does actually deliver because uh, there's a real yeah. chance that there's not a whole lot happening in it. But I'd like to think that with the community managers that they're working with and all the feedback that they've gathered and things oh, that yeah, they've heard from the yeah, community. Oh, yeah, yeah, huge shout-outs. Yeah, yeah, yeah shout-out to, like, Romanova, uh, Tyrant, Damascus, all those guys mm -hmm. who's been working closely with Bandai. And, and anybody to, else working behind the scene, yeah. Yeah, for sure, trying to get some changes applied to the game. But um, other than that, man, I'm just, I'm just excited for some new life to be breathed into the game and for you know, things to kind of calm down in terms of, like, all the controversy yeah. surrounding <laughs> it right now. Cause, Man, Lab Coat really, really did a number on, on Twitter, man. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I, I pretty much agree with every point you made there. And uh, Buffy Amcha, with that, I think we could wrap this video up.